Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you to sculpt a fondant strawberry. What you'll see here are the tools you'll need. I make my strawberries a little different. I actually kind of cheat and I use a heart shaped because if you pay attention to a strawberry it actually resembles a little bit of a heart shape. So instead of sculpting by hand and making a cone you could um, just expedite the process by using a heart shaped cookie cutter. Over here are some petal cutters. I believe this is the calyx flower. I'm not too sure, but it has a similar shape. This is my favorite tool, and we're going to use this to make the little seed indentations. You're going to need some red and green fondant. Don't worry too much about the shade because we're going to use lesser dust to uh, change the green and the red a little bit. So this is my new Lesser Dust from the Sugar Art, and I'm very excited to try this shade. So anytime you're going to start sculpting, you want to look at your subject. So here's a real strawberry. Like I said, you have to analyze the shape, and you can see that it does have that heart shape quality. And you see that the green over here, it's a little bit of an unhappy strawberry, but the topping here has plenty of um, leaves. So we want to mimic this. So to start, I'm going to start with the smaller cutter. I have two cutters just in case we wanted to do something different. So begin by rolling out the fondant thick. Okay. Now grab your heart cutter. Now we just want to use the shape. We don't necessarily want it to look like a heart. Okay, so then you're going to start shaping it, closing the back. Always keep your model in sight. So over here, I'm going to make two. This one I'm going to keep kind of flat because sometimes you want to put the fruit up against the cake and having a flat back is a little bit more helpful. So now I'm going to make it a little bit more pointy here, a little bit flatter here. Don't mind that sound, that's just my compressor going off in my refrigerator. So that's one version there. I'm going to make a thicker version. Again, we don't want it to look like a heart. We're just using the cutter to save time. So start shaping the back. You're just softly squeezing the heart in your hand. Right. If this is going to go against the cake, don't worry too much about the seams but it's pretty easy to rub it out. Okay. So, I'm gonna widen the top on this one a little. Okay, this one. All right, so there are the berries. Now let's do the greens. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try the small one for this one. Then I'm gonna try the small cutter for the both of them. I'm gonna pop it out. Okay, 
So you notice how this one has a lot of leaves and our cutter has just six, right? So you're going to grab a scissor, you're just going to snip them. Be careful not to cut too deep because you could just snip off the entire leaf. And of course, be safe handling a scissor. All right. So now I'm going to squeeze some of these to give them more life and not just look cut out. So I'm just pinching them between my fingertips. It's okay that they're going all over the place because that's all the strawberries that's going all over the place. Don't aim for perfection when you're sculpting because nature teaches you what to do already. So just follow whatever nature does. So I'm going to use my edible glue here, which is just xylose powder mixed with water. I am going to dab a little bit, not too much. Apply it on berry number one. And once it's on the berry, you can start forming it however you want. I'm going to stretch them out a little bit more. So that's how our berry is looking. And now we're going to grab our tool here and start making small indentations for the seeds. You want to keep them close together because that's how they are on the strawberry. So you're dragging down, you're not just pulling in. You want to give a little bit of a shadow so that your eye, when it looks at this, it registers it as a seed. I am not going to put the little yellow seeds. I don't because that just takes way too much time. And you don't really need it. So you just have to create optical illusions for the eye. You could save yourself the hassle of making something realistic. All right, so now let's do the bigger one. I'm actually gonna go with the, the bigger leaf cutter here. I wasn't too happy at, with this one, to be honest. So I'm gonna try this one, which looks like it's gonna be too big, but let's try it. Just make sure your cuts are clean. It's too thick. So this time, I'm going to actually color this with luster dust so you can see the difference between the two berries. So, I'll grab some tissue paper here, put this here, and I use the moss green to mute it out. There are certain times that you could get away with bright colored um, berries, I mean, I'm sorry, bright colored fauna, and other times it's nice to mute it out just a little bit. Okay. 
So I'm not going to get all of the sides because I want the shades of green to add depth. I'm a huge fan of depth. Okay, so now we're going to snip this. You don't have to necessarily cut straight in the center because not all leaves are symmetrical. And you don't even have to cut it if you don't want to. You can leave them the same shape the cutter gives you. Okay. So again, I'm going to squeeze them. You could even use a ball tool for this. Okay. And now I'm going to color the berry. Brand new. So luster dust is a very subtle, subtle change. I love it. It just gives it a different touch. And there's a difference between luster dust and petal dust. This is actually petal dust. I misspoke. Petal dust is opaque and luster dust has that glittery um, effect. Okay, so now that I have colored both. I'm going to glue them. Okay. And again, we're going to add our fake little seeds. If you have the patience, to color the seeds in with yellow, by all means, go ahead. I do not. Okay. So here's the difference between the two. I am more of a fan of this one than this one. And in comparison to our real strawberry, there you go. Now you know how to make a strawberry. Good luck.